Hey guys, it's Alchemist AA, and we are here with Minecraft Snapshot 14W02B, or as I like to call it, Giant Bouncy Slime Glob Update. And what this snapshot does is it introduces some new stone types to the game, of which I have here. Slime blocks. Uh, and it redoes the enchanting system. It also adds a bunch of uh, command lines, which I'm not going to get into in this video. I'm just here to cover some of the basics about the blocks. Let me just make it daytime. All right, so it adds a bunch of new blocks into the game. We have granite, then polished granite, dorite, polished dorite, andesite, and polished andesite. And you can find all of these while caving normally. Nothing special. As far as I noticed, they don't appear on any special level. Um, if you look in the mountains, can't really see it, but there's granite, granite right here. It looks like dirt, but right there you can see the whiteness of uh, this stuff, the dorite, and it sticks out like a sore thumb. And I don't know where you get slime box. I assume you craft them out of slimes. Anyway, this is the enchantment system, and you'll notice I have 300 levels. I have this handy dandy level giger, <laughs> level giger, <laughs> giver, and got some items, got some books, and what you do is you put them in, and what's this? I can't enchant it's because it takes lapis and I just happen to have a bunch of lapis here and I tried it with other materials and it doesn't work as far as I know but we'll break these all down Let's break them all bloom a lot of lapis so, yeah, see, what well, you put some. So, just stick a lapis in, and we're only getting level 28. It's because I have the sign here. Alright. Lapis, book, level 30. And it'll tell you one of the enchantments on the item that you will get. And you'll always get this enchantment. Like, this book will have. Unbreaking 3 on it, guaranteed. But, you have a chance of getting other enchantments on the item. So if I click this, it just was Unbreaking 3. Protection 3. Just Protection 3. Come on, work with me here. Alright, Unbreaking 3 again. It doesn't like me. Efficiency 3. Smite 4, alright, let's see. Alright, so there we are. Power 3 and Smite 4. So you do have a chance of getting multiple enchants on an item. And it costs a lot less uh, experience wise, I do believe. But I think we can try a few things here. Uh, we got Helmet. Let's see, 30 levels. Does it still cost 30? Uh, nah, it does not cost 30. Look at that, all that beautiful stuff on there. And the one it tells you is always guaranteed to be on it. So unbreaking three. And if you look down here, I have 382 levels. 
I cooked this. 379, so I only used three levels. It's just I'm breaking three on that. And pickaxe. Just I'm breaking three. Not having much luck with this. Pain of arthropods. Can I change it? I might have to exit the whole table. Let's see. No. What if I don't want Bane of Arthropods? Uh, can you put a book in? Fire protection? Put you back in? No! I, I guess I got Bane of Arthropods. Uh, I wish there was some way to change it. Maybe I just don't know how. But, yeah, that's enchanting. Now, we've got the bouncy box. And I was testing it out. This goes all the way up to 255, maximum map height. And if you jump down, you won't take fall damage from landing on the bouncy block. But you'll take fall damage if you hit the ground. So it doesn't matter how high you jump, you will not take fall damage if you land on a bouncy block. And I'm not exactly sure how it works. I think your next bounce is like one third the distance of whatever you fell. I was trying to test it out. I can really get an accurate measurement on that too. And over here, I have the slime blocks and I put them on all sorts of different materials. I have sponge, command blocks, diamond blocks, wool, glass, stone, and wood. It doesn't matter what material the slime blocks are on, you'll always bounce the same height. And let's see, am I forgetting anything? Oh yes, gotta remember, if you go into the game menu, into options, up here at the game difficulty, you can see you can still change the difficulty, but you can lock the difficulty in place. And when you click this, it says, are you sure you want to lock the world difficulty? This will set the world to always be peaceful and you will never be able to change that again. Which I think is kind of silly for a peaceful world, but... It's nice that you have the option to lock the world into a difficulty. So for for this example, yeah, we'll lock it in. But I cannot unlock it, and I cannot change it. So, yep, it's locked in peaceful difficulty. I'm sure with external editing programs, you will eventually be able to change that if you can already. But one in game without external programs, once you lock it, it's locked. Also, you gotta see this. This is extremely important. Doors stack up to 64 now. No more having your inventory full of doors. And if we take some wood, put that in there, craft that up. Boom, doors craft three at a time. So you get a lot more bang for your wood. And... Let's see. This is very important. This is the last thing I'm going to probably be doing. Is we're going to test... How blast resistant they are. And if these are all... Variants of uh, cobblestone, I believe. So they should all have the same blast resistance. And we'll find that out. Yep, nothing destroyed except that block, which the explosion came out the little hole in the front. And they should all 
explode exactly the same. Okay, the explosions even in the same place each time on the ground. So yeah, they say they all have the same blast resistance as stone. See, the chicken survived. And last, I want to test the blast resistance on slime. So let's stick that baby in there. Oh, I can't have it raining. Rain stopped. Now let's test this baby out. So that was a 7x7 seven seven cube of. No, it was a 5x7x5. Five by seven by five. It was, uh. Yeah, I think that's... So anyway, slime has no blast resistance whatsoever. Just blew the whole cube up, blew the dirt up. That was one piece of TNT. And boom. And I guess before I go, I'll just show you a natural cave. There's one right back here. And... See if naturally spawn. Actually, enchant a pick. Mine out. Yep, right there. And just mines out. We got this stone, this stone, the andite, and the thorite, and the granite. You can see they're very common. Not hard to find at all. They're all over here. Uh, granite looks really similar to dirt, but it really stands out when there's stone all around it. The thorite just stands out, period. And what's it called? The andesite. The andesite. It looks a lot like stone and I think of all of them I, I think the andesite is probably my favorite looking one it has like a just has a nice look to it I think but anyway let's go and do it guys and I hope you have a good one <laughs>